Enjoy this free episode from My Outdoor TV. Buckle up, get ready for a fun ride. With over 20,000 episodes of the best outdoor shows with your free trial, we're the home of the adventurous. We're in a bad spot. We need help. The champions. When it's your time to win, you can't stop it. The legends. There are bigger things happening out here than just shooting bullets at end. Start your free trial of My Outdoor TV right now. Streamlight Flashlights proudly presents Wardens. This week on Wardens. Four people, two life jackets, so I had no problem writing that. They have a number of drownings out here each year. Conservation officers from Michigan's District 9 patrol a busy summer lake party. We got more rescues right now we're trying to deal with, get people out of the water first, and then we'll come back and deal with the crashes. And personnel from the Parks and Rec Division help remove diseased trees from Belle Isle State Park. That helicopter's lifting them directly out of the woods rather than dragging them or setting up infrastructure to move them out of the sensitive area. Wild animals and wild places. They're more than a picture. They're inspiration, excitement, and adventure. Patrolling and protecting these natural resources is a first-class band of peace officers. These are the Wardens, dedicated to the preservation of our great outdoors. In the southeastern part of Michigan, and also a part of Ontario, Canada, sits a 430-square-mile body of water that's part of the Great Lakes system, but not one of the Great Lakes. Lake St. Clair has an average depth of 11 feet and is a recreational wonderland that offers tremendous opportunities for outdoor activities year-round. Lake St. Clair is well known for its recreational boating opportunities, um, whether it's skiing, tubing, or just driving around in your boat. There's a lot of um, large boats out there that like to race around. It's also really known for its fishing. that it has some of the top fishing in the state and around the world in the United States. Um, some of that is bass fishing for smallmouth bass in particular. There's also Great Lakes muskie. It's really known for its Great Lakes muskie. There's walleye and lake sturgeon that can be caught in and around the lake as well. Each year, thousands of boats gather around Gull Island in Lake St. Clair on the last Friday in June as part of something called Jobby Nooner. So back in the late 70s, um, some guys from the GM plant down in Detroit uh, just decided that one Friday afternoon they were going to leave work and head out to Gull Island and have a little party. And uh, so 17, 17 guys or 17 boats went out there and started off the event. And, Basically, ever since then, it's just been a growing, growing party. The law division of Michigan's DNR is just one of several law enforcement organizations patrolling Jobby Nooner. Customs and Border over there. You got Canadian, Marine Division. They're all out here. Some of the COs manning this patrol are Chris Knights, who will be patrolling from a boat for most of the day, and Jamie Salisbury and Joe Deppin, who will predominantly be working from jet skis in the state's District 9. After navigating for about 20 minutes to Gull Island from where they put their vessels into the water, the COs survey the party atmosphere that's already in full swing. So every year it got bigger and bigger and bigger, and then years have gone by, but now it's not just factory workers, now it's just general public. People take days off from work, and they come out here, and basically it's a adult skip day, pretty much. It doesn't take long for them to spot an issue with a boat. Who's the owner of the boat? All right, you got a 2019 sticker on your boat right now. You're expired. You have any registration for it? March 31st of this year. Oh, man. You got your ID on you? Yeah, I'm going to grab it right now. The chances of me finding it, I'm going to look, but I probably don't have Okay, it so what I'll do is I'm going to run your registration numbers. Okay. If you have one and you're just not showing the sticker, that's yep. fine. I'll let it go. But if you don't, okay. I'm going to issue a citation for okay. unregistered watercraft. Yep. What I would need you to do first, though, I need to see a life jacket for everybody on board. All right? Underneath all your seats are all Back here, too? No, only up here. Hey guys, let's do this. Before we do anything, let's back up so we're not running into traffic. All right. All right. All right. 
The boat driver has several guests on his vessel, but does have enough life jackets for everyone. Hey guys, you don't have to wear them, just put them on just so I can make sure everybody has one, right? What he doesn't have is a valid registration for his boat. Meanwhile, Officer Deppin is on his jet ski closer to Gull Island, in amongst the rows of boats anchored side by side. He encounters a man who is unconscious How much have you had to drink? and appears to have had too much to drink. He teams up with the St. Clair County Sheriff's Department to remove the man from the boat and get him on his way to the hospital. People on the boat who flagged us over said there was intoxicated male on the boat and he was unresponsive and they wanted us to take a look at him. He didn't respond to verbal commands or sternum rub, and from that point out, we decided to call him uh, Clay Township Medical. They came in, we transferred him to their medical boat. Still was unresponsive, and they transferred him to the hospital. He was just, he had too much to drink for the day, and you know, it's, it's one of those things that happens out there when you party too, all day long. Still patrolling from his jet ski, Officer Deppin spots another jet ski that has four people on it, but only two life jackets. We hope you've enjoyed this free episode. To continue watching, start your free trial now.